it is I, the Sleed Singer, coming to you with a video tag, tags actually, um, if I can get it all in. I'm out and about for lunch and thought I would do my best to try to get it to y'all. First and foremost, thank you for all the prayers and kind words you guys said when that virus was kicking my ASS. Sorry, I had to break it down like that because it literally was. It was bad. Um, it was violent and it hit me all of a sudden and I was like, what the hell is this? But um, it's funny because, not to get too graphic, but the amount of gagging I did for the little bit of vomit that came up because of my little stomach is hilarious but um, it got all out of me well most of it anyway um, it was bad that's all I can tell you I won't get too graphic but that wasn't the only thing going on the vomiting that's all I'll say um, but it made me weak and uh, my electrolytes was off and I'm still not I'm feeling better because I actually was able to get a protein bar down today haven't gone back to the shakes yet just because I don't want to get that milk stuff in my stomach right now I'm just worried about how that will react in my body so um, but I'm doing pretty good today so I'll rest up do some housework this evening and hit the gym tomorrow um, anyway so what I wanted to do was talk about the, the um, tag of the questions real quick and then tomorrow I'll come back on and do my weekly update um, question number one was what um, am I grateful for and what I'm grateful for is this surgery. Um, you guys probably figured that out about me. I am um, so glad that this opportunity has presented itself for us to be able to get that second chance to do the right thing, to do better, because we certainly wasn't. Um, we tried and we tried and it's like I said in my seventh month surgery anniversary video, how many times do you get a second chance? Um, I actually went back to um, a video of mine even further back not, not too long ago and realized I said it again so that's even more reiteration to me that I don't plan on wasting this journey so I am grateful for this whole ordeal and to be able to be able to have a do-over um, question number two what's missing in my life um actually a job where I feel as if I'm really applying myself I'm good at what I do but it's just the job I want to get paid for what I love I'm getting paid for what I do and there there is a difference in that um, I've heard some of you guys say that in my video when I posted about my singing that that's my element and I am very comfortable on stage but I don't need to be on stage I need to um, be uh, I just know that I have the talent to be in front of people and speak, you know, in front of people fluently and, and confidently. And I would love to have a job doing that. I actually have a degree, a teaching degree. Um, but the bottom line is teachers don't get paid enough. And um, my bills are too high for the teacher's salary. It's a shame, actually. Um, if you are a teacher out there, you have my bleeding heart sentiments because it is unfair for all that you have to endure and the amount of money that they want to pay um, so shout out to the teachers out there um, but that would be what's missing in my life a job like a career I mean I guess I have a career now but not really something that um you know I am totally using all of me now now that the weight has shut off of me I really feel like and I've said this before that I'm coming out of my shell and I feel like I am um, just not using all of who I am now. So I would love to find a job where I'm just got it all going on. So that's what's missing. Um, what would I change about myself? Uh, I wish I could be more assertive in some situations. Um, and I know you guys probably think I'm pretty forward, but sometimes I am not. It depends on who the audience is. And I wish that I could be, not even in a rude way, I wish that I was um, more expressive um, when I really need to be and not always have to think about what I'm saying before. And a case being like in a situation where, you know, um, this past weekend, 
I hadn't seen one of my friends in a while. And he was actually, if you've been following my journey, the one friend that I had to kind of put in his place when, prior to surgery when I told him that I was having surgery and he had his little two cents to say that all I needed to do was go to the gym and work out and stop eating so much and blah, blah, blah. His ignorant, whew, let me hold that word, um, but I saw this weekend and um, you know, the first thing out of his mouth, and I hadn't seen him in months, the first thing out of his mouth was, yo, you need to leave that crack alone. And that's not the first time that, uh, you know, that comment has been said to me about, you know, drug use. I think I said it to you guys in Williamsburg, but that person I know was really joking from coming from him. It was bad. And, um, I wish that I really had sat him in his place right then and there. Um, so now when it happens again, cause it will, I will be sitting him down and saying that, S-H-I-T is not funny because it's not. Um, and then he turns around and says, but you look good. So just say that at first. Why you even got to go to the drug comment? It's not funny. But anyway, so that's what I wish I could change about myself. Next question. What are you most proud of about myself? Um, what am I most proud of? I would say um, my... Uh, this this journey and, and how enduring I've been um, through it all, I knew for myself because of previous journeys with weight loss, um, Weight Watchers and all of the other ones out there that I had to do this hard or I was going to be uninterested after some time. And that's why I'm thankful that I'm a quick loser um, or at least a moderate loser. I don't know if I'm quick, but um, I'm glad that it has turned out um, to be good for me so far. Um, and I am proud that I went out on that limb to do something that pretty much everybody at first was telling me not to do. And because I had spent so much of my life, sorry about the bumping, because I had spent so much of my life doing what everybody else thought they knew was best for me, I was determined this time and this was the best decision decision I've ever made for myself and so that's what I'm most proud about is that I went out on that limb and did what I needed to do for me um, what are my talents um, well you guys know that I sing um, I also know sign language um, I was actually in an interpreter program um, one of the other times that I let someone else influence me to not continue it because I was very good at it um, I will say that interpreters sometimes do have to find their niche, their crowd, their um, kind of clientele in order to have a steady paycheck coming. At least that's how it was back when I was taking the classes. And, um, you know, it wasn't like a steady job like that. You're kind of like an um, individual contractor. So I didn't uh, do it, but I knew that that was, I was passionate about it. So I wish I had to stuck with it, but I did Sorry about the bumping, um, but I didn't um, wish I had of um, maybe things would be different in my career now. So, um, but yes, that is another one of my talents is I know sign, sign language. Um, what was the toughest time in my life? Um, gosh, I've had quite a few. Um, I've had a lot of heartache in friendships and relationships, I guess. Um, but what I can say is that each of them, sorry about the music, each of them I have walked away from learning something about myself. So um, I guess that would be the toughest thing is that um, having to put up with the heartache and pain that people can put on you if you allow them to. Um, but a lot of times, like I said, I set myself up for the heartache, um, just not seeing the signs of what I really needed to do for me. So um, that's that. Uh, let's see. Um, the craziest thing I've ever done. I don't really have too much. I'm boring. <laughs> um. I don't know. I don't have one. If I think of one, I'll put it in an update. Um, but as of right now, I don't. I'm boring. I don't really have a crazy thing that I've done. So I'm gonna bypass that one. 
what is my greatest regret? Um, that I've let so many other people influence what I should do for me. Um, when I knew that I am not the norm, I am not the cookie cutter child, sister, employee, um, any of that. I am an individual person and, um, I, I, um, have just let too many people influence what they thought was best for me. And, um, I, I am, that is my biggest or greatest regret. Um, so now I have control, so I'm good with that. Um, who has the greatest impact on my life? Um, me, actually. Um, I listen to me first. I may run it by someone who um, I think is is someone that's going to be uh, an individual who will really give me the answer that I need. Um, it takes a lot for me to open myself up. So maybe that's something I can work on. Um, to someone who I think is going to be judgmental. I just feel like sometimes people are, um, I, I'm actually easier to open up to you guys, open up to you guys because you don't judge me at all. You just take me for who I am. Um, sometimes when you have people who historically have known you, they will use all of that back information to influence any future decisions. And, um, that's why it's a good thing to have a resource um, that doesn't have a history behind it. And um, so for me, the greatest impact right now is me. And like I said, um, I will you know, run that by people who I think will give me a seriously objective opinion. Um, so that's all of that for the questions tag. Um, and then there was one more tag. Um, from Tony changing before your eyes that's what did I like about myself before and after surgery before surgery like right before surgery um, I didn't like anything about myself um, other than my personality that pretty much has not changed and that's what I like about myself after surgery is that I have not let these physical changes um, and the way that I feel about myself come to surface and become an egotistical person because um, I am very humbled by this whole thing. I am very much grateful for it. Um, question number one. And um, so I am not taking it for granted. Um, so what? I will may not ever have a flat stomach, but my stomach surely doesn't look like it did before. Um, so what? I may not fit into a size eight, but I certainly won't be in a size 18 anymore. Um, and, and that's, you know, nothing wrong with being an 18 if you were in a size 30, 32 before. Um, you, you got to remember each of our journeys are different and we can't in that capacity compare it to anyone else's. Um, so for me, you know, being in a size 10, I got a size 10 pants today, which is snug, but I'm in them. Um, they're probably not too tight. I should give y'all a body shot, but I can't. I'm out on a parking lot right now. Um, but um, they fit and they're fine. Um, but uh, for me, you know, being in a size 10 or 12, if I stay around there is perfect for me. I'm fine with that. I don't need to be in a certain size to define me. So what I liked about myself um, before surgery was really nothing. I had been a big person all of my life. And now, um, you know, right be probably about two years before surgery i started to see that i was becoming a fat person not just a big girl but a fat person and there's a difference you know necklaces wouldn't stay around my neck you know um the rolls and the and like oiliness would be around my neck and now i don't have that issue and then the last thing um what i like about myself after surgery i just said to you guys that i like um you know that i haven't changed that I'm pretty much the same person and I feel like the person that I am on the inside is now showing on the outside. So that is it. Um, I, I know there's a singing tag going on out there. Um, I may or may not do it for you guys. I feel like you guys have heard me sing enough, but I guess if you guys bug me enough, I will do it. But I, I'll leave that part of the tags alone. So I should be all caught up. I'm at 14 and a half minutes, so I will stop and go into the bank now. You guys have a great day and um, I will talk to you soon. See ya.